Hey guys, so today is going to be a tutorial on how I do faux locks using um, Kaniki Lawn hair or Kanika Lawn or whatever have you. And um, the tutorial, I won't be doing the part of my braiding because I already obviously have box braids, which is okay because I've only had them in for a couple of weeks. So just make sure that your hair you braid first or your hair's already braided or whatever, and I'll show you how I do my bow locks. Now here's the comparison. And I already did one, I wanted to test it out and make sure that everything looks okay. In my opinion, it looks nice. So, um, yeah. Just make sure again your hair is deep conditioned, everything, and you have braided hair already or you braid your hair first. Okay, so this is obviously going to take a long time. I mean, I have a whole lot of braids. So I'm not going to record the whole video, of course, but I'm going to just record one so that you get an idea. And then I'll record some maybe towards the middle and things like that. And then I'll just show you my finished product. So it's going to be quick and easy. I believe and yeah probably not quick and easy for me because it's gonna take a long time but yeah so I have my Kaniki line or Kanika line and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit just because you know you see how it's kind of bulky all right and I'll show you what to do if I run out of hair towards the end in my other twist I didn't but just in case is what I do and by the way, what you'll need is your hair, your can your Kaniki line, Kaniki line, Marley hair, or whatever you're going to use. And you'll need your braid or your hair, of course. And you'll need a lighter. Make sure that the hair you get is flame retardant because we don't want nobody's hair catching on fire. So I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of getting like a feel of what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to take this hair and I'm going to hold this. If you can see that okay and then I'm just going to hold it while I wrap it around the braid and I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times just to make sure that the braid is covered and I'm just going to keep on wrapping it around now why I chose to use Kaniki line or Kaniki line I want to keep on changing the way I say it because I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be said so Anyways, I decided to use this because I want more of a natural looking dread rather than yarn makes it look too sleek and I don't like that. And Marley hair, I haven't tried Marley hair so I don't know how it is. But I already had the hair packs at my house from when I had my twist. So this idea just came to me for me to do dreads. Now, as you can see, I'm just wrapping it around the braid, making sure that the braid is covered. Okay, so I'm at the end of my hair, and this piece is from the box braids that I had. Now I'm just going to take this part, and I'm going to wrap it around, making sure that it's okay. And this is just going to seal the hair in so that it don't unravel or anything like that. So we're just going to keep wrapping it around, and then I'm going to pinch it, I'm going to hold it where um the hair might unravel and then i'm going to take the lighter and i'm going to burn it make sure that it's sealed in there and then i'm going to go up a little bit more Okay, 
and this will just keep it from unraveling so here's the dread with the braid now dread and it's not stiff or anything you can play with it everything like that so this is the first one I did and this is the one that I just did and from the way I'm looking at it it looks nice and with the Kanikulon or Kanikulon hair it looks a lot more natural than the yarn and things like that so yeah hey guys so I'm back and I just want to show you this is how much I have so far and this is with one pack of hair so one pack of hair got me 25 uh, full locks so as you can see I have a whole lot left but one pack got me 25 and this is how they look they're looking pretty good in my opinion they look really nice and I probably burn them like all the way down once I'm done but I don't know I really like the natural dread looking effect so I might not but anyways I'm not really sure how many packs of hair I'll need um I have one more pack and then I'm gonna go get like two or three more packs just so just to be sure that I'll have enough. So this took me a couple of hours and um I don't know where to go tomorrow. I'm on spring break, I don't work tomorrow. So just know that this is very time consuming and that you'll need a lot of hair, a lot of packs of hair, depending on how big you want your dress to be. Like the size of my braids, huh? the size of my braids was the perfect size for the size of my dread that I wanted. So that's fine, but depending on how big your dreads are, or how small, I know that how small your dreads are, um, the smaller they are, the more packs of hair you'll need. So, like I said, one pack got me 25 dreads, and I have a whole other pack left, and I'm going to go get like two or three more, and yeah. So, just know that if you have a lot of braids, count them or whatever and then do because each pack of hair comes with like 25 like strands of hair like thicker strands so just know that 25 come in there and i guess divide multiply whatever you need to do to know how many packs of hair you'll need also i'm really sorry about how terrible i'm looking i've been in the house so i mean i don't have anywhere to go but yeah so I'll definitely show you the finished product. I probably won't come back and let you all know how many uh, packs of hair you will possibly need if you get this exact brand. Other brands, I'm not really sure how many, how many strands of hair come in there, but for the um, for the Jamaican braid, um, Canicolon, Canicolon, whatever hair, 25 strands come in there. So. Just be mindful of that, and I can't wait to see the finished product. I hope you guys can't wait either. Hey guys, so I'm back, and I just got off work, and I wanted to show you all my finished result of my faux locks. Now, I've already styled it up in a top knot, but that just pretty much shows you how flexible they are and how easy they are to manage, and... This feels like deja vu. I used the Jamaican braiding hair, Kanikilon or Kanikilon, and I used six packs. I had like 196 braids in my head, and um, yeah, I just did that to make sure that I was right, I was buying the right amount of hair, and I wasn't over buying or under buying or anything like that. So I used all six uh, packs, except for like maybe four strands of hair, but yeah, so. I really like that I used the Kanikilon because of the frizzy look. I really like that. Like That's like my favorite part of this hair is like how natural it looks. Because I don't really like yarn or uh, when they look too shiny. I don't like that. So I'm really glad that I used uh, Kanikilon hair. And I have some cowrie shells at the end of some of my dreads and in the middle of some of them and I still have a lot more to add so yeah I wanted to do this video when I had finished but I finished late around like 12 something and I just wanted to go to sleep so and I had to work earlier today so yeah 
Um, I really like them though. And I mean, they do get kind of stuck together a little bit. That's only because of the hair, but it's nothing to just do like this. And it doesn't unravel or anything because I burned all of the ends. So, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I have to lay my edges down a little bit because this is this is not popping. But yeah, so I just wanted to make this video before I got too comfortable and didn't want to do anything. So yeah, I'm really really feeling these, and this is just one of many ways that you can style them because it's very versatile, and I really like that. And they're not too heavy. Or anything you guys saw in my um previous videos when I was doing the um the faux locks how small my braids were so I recommend you do your braids about that size because that makes them easier to manage put up put down pull back everything and they're not too big they're not too heavy on your head so yeah I'm gonna be keeping these in for a while definitely because I really like how they look and things like that so yeah that's all i have for you guys and of course i'm wearing a shirt from sensationallynappy.com and of course i'll put everything in the description bar below and um yeah follow me on twitter at ayla natural um like thumbs up subscribe comment tell your friends whatever um yeah i didn't really want to show you all the finished result i'm gonna take my top not down though just so you can see how it looks down and things so like that. this is how they look down I didn't just want to give you guys a picture of how it looks I wanted to actually show you how it looks so yeah this is how it looks down and I really like it and for the ends, I just burned the ends to make it from keep it from unraveling and things like that. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, yeah, I already said like, comment, whatever, whatever. And yeah, it'll match out here, guys.